We've got 59 minutes left on the clock. I think that's correct. We'll find out if that's correct. And we've got a slow approach. So this may well be around that Perry chooses to engage. He might do more one turns. He was just over at the table. Perry was just really, really concentrating, figuring how he wants to do that. Each and every dial he was just thinking long and hard about. So... I mean, that's his face when he's, he's uh, you know, just buying, choosing candy bars, too. So <laughs> that, that, that's just... So there we go. Looks like we got the barrel roll linked action. Calculate. Calculate. Roger, Roger. Are we there? We've got uh, your audio's not one turns and barrel rolls. One turns and barrel rolls. And then the thing with the vultures is... Their, their blue maneuvers, their stress relieving maneuvers are straight or turn, but not bang. That yeah. is something that they do not do. In fact, the hyena bombers only have one bank turn that's white. Yep. That's Sorry, right. one bank maneuver. Um, yeah, the two bank. The one bank. No calculating there. Yeah. Perry knows it. Yeah, but he's doing the one hard barrel roll rather than the, the two, just to keep his forces back as far as possible. So he's going to, because he wants to engage range three. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then the beauty of the uh, network calculation is that they can uh, all share those calculates. Right. So in any on any given attack or defense roll, uh, a droid with the network calculations ability can spend one of its neighbor's calculates, but that's it. Right. It can't spend two. Right. So that's important to keep in mind. So... This is very interesting. Um, will Brian just do a slow move? I mean, one thinks he must in this situation. But yeah, he's, he wants to keep Cassian close, so... Cassian's ability is range 3, so the only yeah. real issue is having Cassian's guns. Yeah, exactly. So we can't push him out too far. So I think that he's probably just going, oh, looks like he's going for it. Here he goes. Frog leap. Cassian, guns forward, U-wing style. <laughs> All right. So it looks like he vroom, is... Vroom, Looks like he's still beyond range three of anything. Yep. But the other ships... Could be seeing some uh, range three engagement this turn. Perry is explaining something to Brian. One of those moments, perhaps, where somebody's going, and this thing does what? <laughs> yep, when you're playing the uh, Separatists, there's a lot of that on both sides of the table. <laughs> yeah. So we've got Cassie in coordinating Tendum. He's coordinating, coordinating him a focus. Nice. Tendum is doing a th three banks he's to give the stress. Her. Oh yeah, he's coming in. He's like, right, he's going to give him that range three engagement he wants. All target locked. Okay. So we don't actually know where the Bactoid's target lock is. We don't know which one it is. It would involve great one effort of the, for one of those seven. We know, yeah, one of the sevens, but which one, we don't know. But <coughs> it's me. like possibly they were, well, we'll find out. Yeah. He's brilliant going to make that two bank. How do you tell from this angle? Yeah, I can't tell either. Uh, looks good. Yep. I mean, All right. it must be practice moves. Must have played this game once or twice. Yeah. Brian hailing from London, Ontario, and Perry, local to Toronto. Yes. A prototype Toronto League guy. I expect Braylon will do a barrel roll link to focus here. 
Yeah. yeah. It looks like he's got the range three on that brown hyena. I mean, the brown vulture, possibly. Right, number three. Yep. And we'll see Garvin zip ahead here with something. Yeah, Garvin's going to get up there, going to use get use out of his ability. I was talking to Brian earlier. He said that he's getting a lot, of, a lot of play out of that. Yeah, I mean, Garvin's ability is, you know, not the strongest. No. Um, but when you have four ships, um, that's a lot of opportunities over a, a, a game for Garvin's ability to proc. Right. There is focus as Garvin will. All right. Okay, well. So here come the rebels. Here we go. And no Leia in this build. Yeah, it's very interesting, but I guess it does makes do with its slow crawl instead of K turns and whatnot. Yeah, and with Cassian, he still has that ability to meet out uh, d pseudo tie defender K turn after K turn after K turn if he needs to. Right, um, for, for one, one ship. Yeah. Usually Superstar Braylon. So we're having target priority picked. Looks like he has range to two of the vultures and the prototype. Look, okay, so he's just going for vulture. Well, the prototype is number one. Oh, right. That's the tub. That that's is the techno yeah. union bomber. All right. So he's just considering, thinking about this. He's giving it a think. And Our timer is incorrect, folks, so we, we, we're not quite sure time, about time elapsed here. Oh, it looks yeah. like 49 minutes of... Yeah. Uh, 49 minutes remain. Yeah. So, so it's taken them a bit to engage. Yeah, but now here we are in the starting... And this is the engagement that Harry wants. This is the engagement that Brian has chosen to give him. Now, I think he's Brian has intentionally stuck 10 num out there to try to keep him out of range one of some pals, hoping that the Diamond Boron missile okay. will go into 10 and only affect 10. Mm -hmm. So they're waiting for something. What's going on? Not quite sure what's going on there. There we go. Dice are thrown. So this is Garvin's attack. He spends the focus. He will pass that focus to somebody. He's giving it to Braylon. So Braylon has two focus tokens, one for attack, one for defense. Here comes the defense roll. Two and evades. Two evades. So Garvin hits nothing but air. That's got to be disappointing for Brian. He's opening payoff big. We'll see what happens. Got He's going Braylon. Braylon on same target. If he goes for the vulture, he doesn't get to use his marksmanship. So I think he's trying to leverage that. That's ah, what all the measuring's about. Right, right, right. Yeah. Landing that, a crit on one of those, one of those guys, is yeah. worth some good, yeah, good effort for him. Yep. Yeah. Leverage every advantage he can. So, because we're in single elimination, top sixteen. If you lose this, Fire the pack it up. Oh, so no. Braylon's attack. Iron at the hyena. Rolling. And spending is Four, three. focus. Now, three it's hits. possible that 10 and three hits only. Braylon could do it. Now, I think there's a rock intercepting. There is. Okay. We Four have dice. All right. Two so. eyeballs, one evade. So, most likely we'll get a calculate spent here to turn that into one damage, which I think Perry is probably happy to take. One damage on a... On a on the tub on the tub five hit points on those bad boys yeah they can take they can take a little bit more of a beating than the vultures which just crumple and die if you blow on them too hard yep so, so one, one damage, damage onto the tub and he, tub's already done his job in this build yeah it's totally true the tub is not a priority target for for Brian he's got his probe droids are out probe droids are destroyed. Probe droids have done their job. He's a bit more points, 37, so that'll get him ahead. Better value for his efforts, I suppose. Got 10 num rolling, two hits, and we're not sure who's defending. It's four dice. Two oh, dear. Two evades. All right, so 
Wow. There you go. Perry Stace are not having it. So Perry spent one calculate in order to defend against that attack and took one damage. Was it just one over, overall? Yep. Yep. Wow. That really right. went Perry's way. All right, here come here come Let the shell charges. Does he have range? Yeah, he's got to have range. From, I think he was checking from the back door to see yeah. if it had range. Yeah. I think his only target is 10. Yeah. And he'll be deciding uh, whether or not he wants to spend the diamond boron here, whether or not he wants to shoot it and spend the charge to maybe get an extra damage into yeah. 10. I think don't you charge choose after it hits? You do. Yeah. So it's the versatility of that weapon. So here we go. It's only two oh, dice. Oh, is this firing primary? Maybe this is the Techno Union Bomber. Without a shell chart? Without a calculate token at this point? It didn't have one, right? Because it barrel rolled? Good luck. Thanks. Mm, oh, right, right. right. Techno shell. Union Bomber. Just barrel rolled. That's right. So he's just getting his worst shot out of the way first. Okay. <laughs> yep, keeping that formation in in sync. Sometimes you got to do the things that uh, aren't always beneficial. The, the Separatist Swarm is more about the team. All about the team. Here we go. Firing looks like a shell charge. Oh, okay. So it's two... Can't really see why. It doesn't crit, matter. Crit. Ten has many shields. And so nothing. ten takes two. Two shields off of ten. Two shots. And the seppies are already up. All right. One shield. So that was the shell charge off of, I'm not sure which. I think that was number six. Number six spent his shell. Number five. Shooting. Well, that was his charges, right? Yeah. Yep. It goes number five. Number five. This is all paint. Okay, so two hits. Hit two crits. The calculate has to be spent. Spending it. And ten gets that, so, so shields down on ten. That was the charge off of which one fired? Uh, that was number five, I believe. Number five so that, fired his. You know, we're looking at number four. Number four. Yeah. That looks like it's obstructed. Well, they'll find out. Number four is just seeing if he can shoot off his charge. And so I was talking to Perry about the fact that energy shell charges, they only have just the one charge, and then you can reload. And his his philosophy is, that's okay. Once, once I've fired that, next time we engage, it's going to be range one. I'm going to get those three dice anyway. Right. So I think they were measuring for range there. I'm not quite sure what they determined. Looked like it might be out. Mm, yep. So he's continuing to fire into 10. Yep, doing some good work. So here comes a, another shell. Uh, he has the lock on him, so he's re-rolling. Okay, so he's going to spend calculate so it is what looks I can't tell it's uh, one hit two crits one hit two crits so 10 gets to evade one takes two crits this is where Perry wanted to get in the first round right direct so direct hit and looks like damaged engine no big deal for 10 I mean, the direct's not nice, but the damage engine doesn't affect him very much. Yeah, down to one health. Yeah, we'll see if Perry can, in fact, deal the necessary one damage to take ten off the table. I think, by all means, he should try. Absolutely. <laughs> if it means him spending a diamond boron just to uh, yeah. do its primary, just to throw the three dice absolutely anything he fires at him he gets two results that's a ship gone that's that's a quarter of his list off the table looks like he has no calculates left on the table yeah he's looking at number four shooting Who is Jarvan yeah maybe he doesn't have ten he, he did mean, yeah he that they were measuring range earlier he didn't have range so he's firing primary one hit Garvin, Garvin could care less. And 
All right, is that it? And there were it. Yep. So I'm curious as to why Perry did not launch the Diamond Boron missile. At, I mean, maybe he did, and we just mistook it for one of the energy no. shells. I don't. I don't think he had range with the back door. I think that was his first thing to do. Really? He was trying to, but the range control was just on the line where it, it didn't actually get to. Yeah, one and four didn't actually get to fire. I don't think. Right. So Perry's got or one in seven, pardon me. Right. So all the vultures are stressed and must do either a two straight or a three straight or four straight mm -hmm. or a two turn. Mm -hmm. um, the hyenas are not stressed and they could do two banks, which is their only white bank maneuver. Right. Or they can do one straights um, and calculate. Or they could launch themselves in with straight maneuvers as well. Yeah, but, you know, looking at it, Harry, how he came out of this, he got one damage on, one, one help on off of one, and uh, Brian has almost lost a ship at this point. So we believe that number seven is still carrying energy shells, and number one, the yeah. Bactoid, yeah. Yeah. has just, not spent go double check that. Sure. Okay. Right there. Oh, no. Techno Union Bomber, of course, has its energy no. shells because it didn't spend any. The last turn could not spend any. As badly as that went for Brian, is in a good position to proceed with his overall joust it and win strategy. All of his ships can just crawl one forward. He can employ Cassian again uh, to... Hmm, he can't get Cassian clear. Cassian is not going to be able to get in action this round. He is stressed. So Cassian will not be able to coordinate, which would have been an advantage with the struggling 10 num. He could have got him out of there. Yeah, so 4 and 7, we didn't have range to fire their shells, so they still have their shells. Right. And number 2, and the all the other ones did Techno fire Union their Bomber, shells. of course, still has its. Right. Yeah. Cuz he didn't have a calculate to fire. Yep. So seven does have its? Seven does. Seven okay. and four. The back row did not have range to fire. Okay, so we've got that incorrect on the on the We're just gonna correct that, it. but yeah. I mean this is interesting. This is this is the real turning point for the for the vulture hyena swarm. Yeah. Right? This is the round where most of the ordinance has been spent. They have to do well in this round. So yeah. this could be a combination of blocks to control the area yeah. and uh, range one shots and maybe a shot from whatever ordinance is left. Yeah. At this point, though, uh, blocks isn't really that feasible for the for the for the separatists to pull off because they don't want to. It's not like a classic swarm where you could send a sacrificial dude, low PS guy out to screw up the whole formation. Mm -hmm. It's just like. If you do that, just tends to be the wrong move. As wrong as it sounds, like, mm -hmm. no, that's the right move. All of your X-Wing instincts go saying, that's what you should do. Send right. the guy out there. Like, no, 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 you can't. You've got to stay over here and be part of the team. Calculate right. along with the guys. Follow the algorithm. <laughs> exactly. Roger, roger. And here they come. We've got eight, two straight. But, from but 10 num being still alive, that's huge. For Brian, he's going to yes. be able to get another shot off of Tendum, who is. Oh, we're getting some cool strut off, strut barrel roll off the rock action. Barry's awesome, doing awesome the. Move. No, this is how they actually work. I'm not cheating. The exactly. Grappling struts explanation. Exactly. But yeah, Ten being able to get another shot, and he can easily take off a, take off a ship off the board with his last, uh, with his final attack before he inevitably. Bites it, which is which is big. Right. Um, well, in combo with Braylon uh, Stram, Braylon mother frickin Stram. All right, so we see number two, the Techno Union bomber has done a hard two onto the rock and and calculated. Mm -hmm. So okay, struts are going. Okay. 
So we have a result for the pairing between Benoit Philippe Girard and Drew Edgar. So Drew Edgar is rocking the 5SF Swarm. He's got fanatical and advanced optics on those. He's been steamrolling uh, the locals at Black Knight wow. Games in Hamilton for the last couple months with that. <laughs> so he's a Black Knight guy. He is. Technically Devil Bench. We like scooped him up from Brantford, but yeah, he's a Black Knight guy from way back. You must be proud. Yeah, he's my boy. Uh, and he's defeated Benoit Philip Girard from Montreal, who was flying uh, Jedi Aces, Plo Koon, Obi-Wan, and Mace, all with Delta 7B. Yeah. Congratulations to Drew as he moves on. Uh, good show, Benoit Philippe. Yep. All right, back to the game. We've got vultures all over the place, and despite you telling me that Perry should not block, he, it seems he's done that with number two, attempted a, a, a... But he's doing it in a really careful way for the team. Look at that. He's keeping them all together. True, true. He's doing the separatist thing. He's using those linked actions... Uh, calculate really strong he's getting in there because he wants to do now is the time when he wants to do the range one fight he doesn't want to do the range two fight right we've done the range three he wants to jump right ahead to range one he's getting his actions he's using up all the good space on the board that's exactly what he wants this is his fight he's using those struts well it looks like the only one of uh, Brian's the only one of Brian's team that he wants to give he's also got a nice shield there going on for the back toy mm -hmm. um Yep. But the only one of uh, Brian's team that looks like it will obviously get actions is Braylon. Uh, Garvin might, depending Ooh. upon what he's doing. He's got enough room there. He slow rolls in there. He'll be good. Cassian is not... I don't know what Cassian's going to do, but Cassian probably is okay. He hasn't gone in for the hardcore blocks. This isn't what, you know... This isn't the same as, like, sending up the, uh, the bandit... <laughs> Z95 or the uh, Academy tie right up into their grill to get right in the way immediately. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty close. Pretty close. But you're right. It isn't that distance. They're not separated by distance. What he has done is kept them close so he can benefit from the network calculations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nobody's sacrificed himself out there too much. Three is hanging a little bit loose. He's, uh, so 10 has done a red maneuver just to get himself stressed. Figured he would be blocked somewhere. Yeah. Question so. is, who does he bump? So, yeah, looks like he's bumping into drone number six. Is he trying to take a shot on the Bactoid before he goes down? Mm, that, or it looks like he might be able to still get a little more damage on the Techno Union Bomber. Right. He can actually... Uh, get those four damage into the Techno Union Bomber, that takes him out. It's possible. That's really what he wants, but, you know, that's not a bad spot for him, all things no, considered. It was good to uh, dodge the first rank of fire with 10. I mean, it doesn't take much to, to kill 10 at this point. He knows that. So Braylon has come in hot. Yep. Gonna... Focus and either fail a barrel roll, roll here and stay out a bunch of arcs, or barrel roll right and try to support whatever killing action Ten Num has. Uh, it looks like he'll just shoot through the rock on the Techno Union bomber. Yep, good. Whoa, will that roll actually complete? We are on Tenter Hooks here. There he is. There he goes. Yep. So dodging many of the arcs. This is crucial. Yep. For the B wing. We the non agility ship. Number uh, vultures five and six may not even have shots this turn. Yep. But they're there to calculate and support their support their friends. So. Right. And Perry's already set up base on the lock on the rock, so that's good for. Good for Perry. Number seven. Uh, he was one of our back row guys. I think he still should have his charge, no? I think we've still got that incorrect. Right. So he still should have his charge, so he'll be able to next turn turn and fire his charge 
Yes, good point. Here we even turn barrel roll off and then calculate and fire his charge depending on what's optimal. I find that that is the best way to, to exit a rock is to barrel roll link action off of it rather than do the two straight. It's just most of the time that is just the obvious. Yes. And the barrel roll will give you a choice of sides often enough. Yeah. Very versatile. For so, one point, great. Brian has barrel rolled Braylon in order to block Garvin, so Garvin will have a shot on number three. Yep. So some some moves in the positioning dance. Yep. Here. Self-blocking. Mm-hmm. So the downside of this round for Brian is that he's only got mods on two ships. Uh, ten num and... And here they go. So he's shooting into the Bactoid with ten num. Yep. And it looks like it's a range one shot, maybe. Well, we'll find out with the number of dice he's got. It looks like four dice. And it looks like he's got bullseye, so he can employ marksmanship as well. So a nice hot die roll can help improve Brian's... Oh, it's just three dice. It's just three. Three and, dice, and it's a I natural mean, it's a crit. crit. And the crit is nice, but... Oh, no. Perry Perry's just dice are rolls like, magic. No way. Get out of here, Perry. Get out of here. Hot dice. Um, okay. All right, moving on to, that is 25% of Brian's forces have <laughs> yep. fired their guns. All yeah, right, so it looks like he's going with... Uh, Raylan be... on to number two, which is our... Where is it, uh, Garvin? I can't techno tell. Techno Union Bomber. He's going to do some more work on that Techno Union, yeah. see if we can't get that guy I think it's Braylon because he's worrying about the bullseye. All right, our clock is now correct uh, as to actual match time. Half hour, just under half hour left in the match. I mean, he'd like to clear that Techno Union bomber, but he's got to get all four through for Braylon to do it with one shot. Yeah, but it's, Garvin's still got his... And even possible, Cassian, you know, with his long bomb. You know. So, oh, it's only three dice for Braylon. Braylon doing Braylon things. So three, and yep, marksmanship coming through. Two hits and a crit. Two hits and a crit. So this is going to hurt the Techno Union. Oh, oh two just of a crit again. goes through. So he had the rock as obstruction, and he takes a crit. Looks like a damaged engine or something. I cannot tell. Yeah, that's no big deal for Perry. I mean, just the Techno Union bomber eating another... One volley damage. from one ship and taking one damage is just brutal for Brian. Mirror one damage from Garvin yeah, and, then and then two of eight. So yeah, no result. Now it's Cassian on cleanup duty, and that seems like it is a task. D yeah, I'm it's possible he could wipe the Techno Union bomber off, but he's probably more likely. Got a better shot firing at number three there. Maybe yeah. stripping a token? It might Maybe just completely offing him. But not with rolls like that. One crit. One crit. Not with Perry's hot green dice. Not oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. he must have Denied. shot at the tub. Nothing. Nothing. Well, that was brutal. All right, here comes the brutality. And this will be the end of 10 um, if Perry rolls two hits with anything. Yep. So, I'm not sure who's firing, but somebody's going hey, to get to work on finishing up 10 nub. It's range one shot. Oh, he's somebody's got a lock on a lock. Him. Three. Looks, looks like he's got two. Looks like that was an eyeball. Oh. Spending. Calculate. One, that's enough. That eliminates 10 nub, the big gun. But he's... <clears throat> Uh, telling him about the new rule for 2.0 where you don't clear off ships until the end of the firing for that initiative value. Now, FFG introduced this rule um, with second edition. Mainly, they said, because they wanted to f confuse telecasters. <laughs> um, it's very effective. I, I find myself utterly stumped almost every time. Um, yeah. What with the, didn't he kill 10 num? Why isn't he removed? What's going on? Yeah. Uh, okay, so Perry's going to fire number three. 
probably shoot at Garvin since he's all up in things. Now Braylon is not in a great spot. All right, so looks like we've got a crit and He's, two eyeballs. Yep, yeah, so he could spend his own, calculate, and a friend's, and get hit, hit, crit. Seeing the range one ruler in there. Into red one. Yeah, I'm doing more thinking. I don't know, Perry's pen in a philosophy treatise on the use of calculates over there. There you go. Two. Going with two. One of aid. Oh, one of aid. So one damage on beginning this task of removing Braylon Stram. Oh, that was in Braylon? I thought that was on Garvin. Uh, no, you only rolled one of a dice, so I think they're working on the other B-Wing. Okay. Oh, Braylon Stram, the B-Wing left. Just wants to, you know, the B-Wing is a versatile tank, but he's the easier target. So, I mean, with that reroll, sheesh, hot right. fire. We got two hits and a crit. Don't know where that's coming from. It's one of our last charges, so that would have been probably number four firing his. Uh, that could have been the Techno Union bomber. He was at range oh, two right. of Braylon. Right, right, right. So I think Braylon just lost two. Sh yeah, Braylon is down three shields now. Uh, did he just roll an evade? Yeah. Okay. I mean, with that stress and a focus token, Braylon yep. is going to get yep. a successful defense each time. Yeah. So I, maybe I think it might have been better for him to go to Garvin here, but uh, on the other hand, smashing into Braylon's hull sooner rather than later leaves him vulnerable to crits. Yep. We've got what looks like a shot from number four all the way to downtown. Yeah. Onto Cassie and Andor, way back mm -hmm. there. It looks like we're firing off one of the few remaining shell charges. Yep, and since he's strutting, or, that asteroid does not obstruct. Yep. But we'll see how many dice it is. This is number four. Three dice. Three oh, dice. Geez. Oh, yeah. This game is. Perry's Hit, dice are crit, crit. just absurdly good. So. One evade. And Cassian so, will take two shields. All right, starting the work, spreading around the love. Mm -hmm. So Cassian losing two shields. Here are you doing the essential of target priority? These guys might have shots on um, Cassian. They're going to mark out some ships, lay down some rulers. Check some lines. Number six. So, okay. did he just roll double paint again? No, he rolled, yeah, he rolled hit eyeball. Does he got any calcs left to spend? He does. He's spending. Perry's, you can see on the table there, there's the separatist ruler that Perry won. One yesterday. more damage for Cassian. Last shield for Tassian then? Yep. Cassian now has no shields. One hit. Firing some primary weapon. Oh, one evade. Cassian right. evades. Finally. A much Harry, needed bit Harry of luck for Brian. Take a damage. All right. And looks like that people is the are settling down. All right. There are 20 minutes left. Right. I'm just going to go double check our uh, shell charges. See sure. who's got what. We have 20 minutes left in this match. We have a large lead for Perry strategically. Points-wise, it's only translated to 49 points so far. I think Cassian is actually down another shield. Nevertheless, that's not half points on Braylon or Cassian, so it's actually not turning up in the win column for Perry. We've got only two damage on that Techno Union bomber, which is bananas. Now, I think we're almost all shell charges, e-shells spent. We've got number five still listed as having e-shells, but that may not be right. That's being checked now. I think we still have diamond boron missiles on on our pal, the, uh, the Bactoid prototype. Um, what happened to that? Dark probe, it seems to have disappeared. Must have blown it up. 
So how's so, the scene? So number seven is the only one that has a shell charge left. Okay. Uh, he's gonna make good. He's in good position to get use of that next turn. All right. You have to do a little swivel, uh, maybe a barrel roll, and then calculate, get that charge off. Get now, good use out of it. Braylon's in a tough spot here. Braylon is, yeah, tough spot, and that's just where Perry wants him to be. He can't do a K turn. Seven is the one that's yep, seven is the one who has I the uh, so shelter. Close. Yep, no, it's, uh, yeah, uh, props to Travis for uh, doing his best to keep the board state in perfect order. It's, it's a task uh, of monumental size. <laughs> and he is only one man, although perhaps more machine than man at this point. <laughs> I don't know. He's got a lot of work to get done uh, in 20 minutes with half, <laughs> with three quarters of a squad. He's not he's not even half pointed anything yet. Well, if we assume both Braylon and Cassian do become half pointed, that's an additional 50 points or so for Perry. Yeah, uh, 52 to be exact. Yeah, I think yeah. So, so that puts him up to 101. Yeah, and yeah. for him to do, like even if he. Even if uh, Brian was able to eliminate a ship each with each of his three ships, take down three, uh, I think he would still have a very hard. Uh, You're right. Hard fight. You're right. I mean, it's possible. They are all three ships, but they're really cheap. They're only twenty-five points, except for the uh, the high priority targets, Bactoids. And the Techno Union Bomber 36, 37, but they're all still really cheap. Yep. For him to be able to pull this win out is going to be uh, a bit of a miracle at this point. Just Perry is such, such a. Uh, this has been a fantastic exchange for him. It's just like, couldn't have asked for it to go any better for him. That's true. And we don't mean to, to uh, decry Perry here. His position has been fantastic. Yeah. And I do think that the Joust did favor him. Yeah. Um, over the this rebel list. Okay, so three makes the big leap forward. Yep. Gonna block Cassian. Yep. No coordinates for anybody. Yep. That's a good move. Yep. Did did Brian choose not to remove ten stress? It seems uh, that he did. I think did not. Yeah, yeah he did not. That's that's Braylon. Braylon yeah. likes. Sorry, Braylon. And I was yeah. talking to. Uh, Again, for the match, that's sometimes something Brian, uh, Brian likes to do. So it gives him, because he thinks of it as like a free mod. So, so it was just a mistake. Brian had missed the trigger. Perry, Perry let him take it at retroactively. Oh, okay. okay. That's right. what I thought. Because I okay. think the one turn makes sense from Braylon. If he were already stressed, he'd be forced to do two straight. And that would right. be a disaster. All right, here we go. And Rocket they're just and coming rolling. in. They're coming in. This is so many this ships. This is his way... Setting up those kill boxes. There's no way Cassian can get out. Now, usually when you're playing against Cassian, there's a Leia on board him. Yeah. So, like, you, you know, really want to kill him real bad. Yeah. He's not quite such a priority here, actually. I mean, he still has 51 points, which is more points than Garvin. We've got number four doing something. He's rotating, I think. Rotates where he anticipates a ship will end up. Takes a calculate. And number seven Simply is... rotating? Yep. We'll just fire that last e-shell charge. Somebody or other. And what does the Bactoid do? The two-bank? Seems likely. Don't land on the rock. There's no room for you there, buddy. I like how the droids have a have a rule though. It's like it's like summer camp. It's like there can be a maximum two kids. Two kids uh, on a bunk bed. Two kids on a bunk bed. <laughs> Mom. Yeah. Jimmy's a... trying to get on the bunk bed. <laughs> Jimmy, get out of there. <laughs> Well, this is sheer brutality. Let's see what happened. All right. So Cassian is Cassian blocked. Still going to get a nice shot. Nice four dice attack, raw dice. Yep. If he rolls hot, he can turn this around. 
can blow, maybe blow the snot out of number five. It is there's the one the, turn. There's the one turn. So had Perry not allowed him to go back and yeah. get the stress removal. Sportsmanship in action. So Braylon turns. Looks like he will have a shot on the back toy. Probably. If not, maybe number five. But he's dodged the arc of the Techno Union Bomber, number two. Yep. Yeah. Here comes Garvin. What's he going to do? Oh, look at that. We have a chat. It's over there. Hi, chat. Hello, chat. What did Garvin do? Did you do the K-turn? He did the K-turn. So, so next wing. One give, last desperate K-turn. It's given the tub something to shoot. Yep. The tub appreciates. All the locks are on Braylon. Yep, those locks from way back from those probes. I think the most satisfying thing about when they do shoot the probes is that they don't get any points for that. They're like, okay. Oh yeah, it's all on the it's all on the tub. It's all baked into the tub. I mean, I think the dark probe droids are um, the technological advance that yeah. the separatists were waiting for. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, they're proving to make the uh, the tactical relays unnecessary. Yeah. We've seen a, a bunch of lists which just yeah. don't use them. Yeah. Did you have a tack relay yesterday? No. No. Wow. Then there were at least three separatist lists here without yeah. Uh, yeah. attack relay. Yeah. All right. Braylon's last stand, folks. Four dice. Using the stress. He's re-rolling with Braylon's ability. He's out for revenge. He gets three. And one. Can so I calculate? That is going to calculate? We don't know. He's deciding. Yeah. He's doing some philosophy here. Doing some calculations. Who should I do? Who, who, who? Going to do. He's going to spend the tubs calculating. No, I think it was the guy behind the tub. Oh, you're right. You're right. So one damage only. One damage only. Sheesh. On number six, I believe. Yes. Okay, Braylon, I mean, Garvin is going to see if he can maximize to get the same target, but it doesn't look like he was in arc, but we'll see what happens. He's going to shoot at... I didn't see who. Oh, oh, not a bad shot. Heroic X-Wing shot. Hit crit. Oh, jeez, Louise. No. <laughs> no. Denied. Yep. Yowza. Measuring, calculating. So he denying. Just used the calculate from the blocker. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. No damage dealt. Denied again. Here comes the last shot. Cassian nothing Wifferini basically no 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 Brian's shaking his finger well having words with his dice yeah but congratulations to Brian though top 16 fantastic we still got 10 minutes something yep. miraculous could happen something miraculous could happen said the rebel player <laughs> to whom <laughs> nothing miraculous happened yesterday <laughs> That's not true. Uh, Jack Porkins is the hero of the rebellion, as All far right. as we're concerned. And we're calculating All paint for three. Perry. One. Cassian two takes two more. Damage. Gets through on Cassian, or was it Braylon? Pretty sure it was Cassian. It was two green dice, so it had to be. Oh, okay. Right, right. Or was I on Garvin? No, he hasn't started that pain train yet. He's doing this weird thing where he's kind of picking one guy at a time so he can maximize it all, but it, it ends up being him going Ooh, around in a circle. The lock. Oh, lock. So this must be on Braylon. Perry is so excited about his hot dice, he throws them on the floor. Throws them off. Where are those dice from? Which regional are those from? I don't know. I think those are like last year's regionals. Perry only gets one hit. Braylon evades and lives. Woohoo! Is this the beginning of something miraculous? Things are turning around. Bactoid into 
Woo new. Yowza. Into Braylon. Braylon is going to take a crit here. Best he can do is one evade, which he gets. Hit. Hit crit. and crit. The crit is, I don't know. It might have been a fuel leak. It was a ship one. That's all I could see. The producers are heroically erecting a barrier to try to control the, the sound that's hitting us. It's, it's even like, more complicated. It's like they're throwing up barricades to defend us from the hordes of Destiny players who have oh, arrived. Oh, please, keep them away. <laughs> the lesser FFG games that we support. All right. Harry keeping his hot dice rolling, spending okay. calculate three hits on Garvin. Oh, he's saying no, no, no. B-Wing. Braylon. B-Wing will take the pain. And, and re-roll for Braylon. For he gets success. It. Two, Two more. more damage on Braylon. So Braylon should be down to... Two hull at this point? One hull, I think. One hull. Braylon's hanging on by... Oh, jeez. Barry's oh, hung on to his energy shell charge. Like, sh I always thought he was going to save an to shell charge... Uh, Garvin, get that party started, but... I mean, it is the right call, just blow. Oh, yeah, you've got to get through. Yeah. Two, three hits, that three. three hits. Yeah. Goodbye, One, Braylon. One, Braylon is having a time. Bye-bye, Braylon Stram. Okay. Look at that, he's just, he's just ripping the cards off of his damage deck and hucking them on the card at this point. He's like, yep. so many. All right, and now... He's gonna oh, Perry has more shots. He's got more shots. He's got still has seven ships. So one hit on Cassian. Cassian evades. All right. Or Garvin, whoever it was. Oh, the hands go up in frustration, and another B wing is off the table. And there is no ships dead on Perry's side. But seven minutes. The Techno Union bomber has been half pointed. Half points on. Yep, nineteen points. But point at this point, it's all or nothing. There are no miss Swiss rounds. We're in single elimination. Indeed. Well. All right. So, looks like this is Perry's got him just where he wants him. Okay. So, yeah. So Cassian Andor is going to remove that stress. So that's going to take the stress off of Garvin. But of course, if Perry has anything to say about it. Garvin's not going to be any actions anyway. So, he mainly wants to make sure that neither of them get an action because the coordinate with Cassian, he could throw something to Garvin. But, I think as long as Brian is able to shoot things, that is what he wants. So, he definitely is going to have opportunity to do that. Because anywhere he looks right now, he's going to be seeing droids, 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 everywhere. But he still has not been able to actually remove one from the board, which is got to be frustrating. But Perry's dials are set. Looks like Brian's still thinking about it, but Perry is good to go. His seven dials are down. Looks like he's got six down. He's working on the seventh, but... So, in fact, the Techno Union Bomber has only got two damage on it. Okay. And the Bactoid has one. Ah, okay. So those 19 points aren't even up there. Okay, so... Um, Cassian is down to three hull, I believe. I've already forgotten. And Garvin <laughs> is at full health. All right. I have not started the pain train on Garvin Dreas yet. The old, old school... Wave one, OG pilot. So we have Talon Roll to get behind. The yes. rarely seen Talon Roll. Did you remember to remove the stress on Garvin? Yes, good. He did. Yeah. It's one of the things I find it just never really is optimal to do the red move, red reverses with the Sep Swarm, in rare cases. 
being 1K, 2K. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to give up your calculate, not yeah. just for yourself, but right. also for yeah. your... Uh, it's antisocial. Robot it's anti-social brethren. Yeah. It's antisocial behavior. Can robots have social behavior? They're all about the social behavior. Protocols. Star Wars universe, yeah. <laughs> Yep, they're getting in all of Garvin's way. Calculating. Not stressing. Here comes the tub. Uh, this is the Bactoid. Is that the Bactoid? Oh, yes, the tub is parked on the rock. Oh, it's kill Garvin time. Oh, is it? Yeah, I guess so. They're not going to kill uh, Cassian. He's, they've still got a lot of work to do up there. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. What? I don't know. Maybe he's going to... I don't know what. Three minutes remain. Yep. Hanging on. He's just going for the final points. Yeah. But he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. All he needs to do is not die. All he needs to do is not lose four of his ships with the two shots that <laughs> that Brian has left. And that's good. He's got this game. So Cassian is down to three hull. Hang on. It's all right. They're all the same. Doesn't matter yeah. if they change. <laughs> yeah. And the Techno uh, Union Bomber has, in fact, only taken two damage. Yeah. Techno Union Bactoid has taken one. Techno Union has taken two. Oh, really? Didn't take a I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, which one? Yeah, this one, Bactoid? Bactoid has one damage, and uh, Techno Union has two damage. So it looks like every ship in Perry's list is pointed at Garvin. Yes, that is that is what has occurred. <laughs> and and Cassie and Andor is back there, like, hey, excuse me. He feels, I think oh, he the, feels rather insulted. The Techno Union bomber is actually going to shoot at Cassian. Oh, okay. Well, thank goodness for that. They still got in a great spot to completely. Avoid, avoid Cassian from doing any actions, but all guns have pointed at Garvin. Here he comes. He's sliding up for the smashy crash into the back at number five. And Garvin is not going anywhere. Or is he? Whoa, what is red, red number one done? Nope, he's done a one straight. A lot of excitement here. Canadian Nationals today. Crowd's getting wild. The X-Wing players must be finishing up their games. A lot of shouts of joy, cries of pain. As per the norm. All right, here we go. Brian Barter flying for Ewok Squadron. Go Ewoks. Ewok versus PTL. All right, so it looks like Garvin didn't do much. He's firing. Hot. Whoa. Two hits and a crit. A little bit of hot dice for us. If it's the Battle of Yavin, he's going out. Okay, and Blazing they're saying, blood. how about a crit only? Sheesh. All right, and so Perry going to show us the crit. Fuel, you could look like. Okay, that was on somebody new. Yep, Trade Federation. Ooh, stabilizer, to... actually. Uh, that's annoying. It's an annoying crit. It is, but I don't think there's going to be, with seven seconds left, I don't think it's going to come up. Oh, yes, you're right. If it was a console fire, maybe it might. All right, what's this? A little discussion. Time is gone. We're into the end. Oh, one hit. Four Only dice. One hit. For Cassian. One hit. Oh, Whoa. look at that. Perry, Perry actually blanks out. Proves to be one capable damage of blanks. on somebody. Two. Non effect. Okay, so here we go. Get to murdering Perry. It's not necessary. You've already won, but <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Do your worst. Okay. All we got right. reports coming in. We got reports. Got some more reports. Let's uh, see this one first. 
Okay, so we have the results of the battle between Ryan Ferguson flying Ketsu, Tarak, and Cavill. Skelman Villainy versus Resistance. Kelvin, Kelvin Lau flying Poe, Tally, Greer, and Zeri. Uh, Kelvin has won 281, so he'll be moving on to the top. Then we have uh, Andrew Durham versus Damien Delotre. And we got that list, those lists for you somewhere. There they are. Damien Delotre was flying a mixed squad of Republic, Plo, Obi Wan, 104th Battalion, and Rick Ollier with Obi Wan with Delta 7B. Uh, and he has lost to Andrew Durham, who is flying First Order, Kylo, and Null. So Andrew and Kelvin and, and Drew move Console on fire. to the top cut. And we're just waiting to see here who will be the winner of this last game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what game you've been watching, Aaron, but... It was ironic understatement, man. I haven't had enough coffee today. My humor is Coffee awry. is good. One hit. One of aid. Whoa, Cassian is going to live. All right, get those attacks out. Still, all seven ships lived through this. Half points on one Trade Federation drone. That's all you get, Brian. 13 points. All right, here we go. At this point, Brian is just laughing and enjoying the he's slaughter. Just, he's just enjoying the top 16 cut. Somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to lose. There can only be one winner. Single elimination. Top 16. We thought it was only going to be top 8. We got it expanded to top 16. Fantastic. Half of these guys should didn't know the, it was even possible that they would be here to, today. Right. Sure, Perry. Just roll all paint all the yep. time. Oh dear. Oh dear. So Brian was one of the. Uh, and there's the handshake. handshake. So Perry Lowe will move on to the top cuts.